pan head repair day. Well, not day, but quick repair. So, this is an old, early set of heads. See the nice plumber's manifolds. And it's got the same problem that most of these do. The exhaust spigot is shot. So, I'm gonna just take some time today, I'll show you how to repair them. Here's aftermarket spigot. This is what we're gonna put on there. I'm gonna start off first, I'm gonna pull the valves, um, springs, all that, so I can get it gutted. Then I'll put it up in the mill and I'll surface this down so it gives me a fresh mating spot. I'll put this one on there. I just realized something kind of funny. I always put these on the mill, but I forgot I have my little porta band and that'll get me right where I want to be. So I'm going to just hit it with the porta band, snip this off. You can see there's a, I don't know if you can see there's a stock like casting line. So I'm going to aim off that, get it close, and then I'll just fine tune it down. And then I don't have to put it in the mill. Man, I should have thought of that a long time ago. I don't know why I never did it like that. Much easier. So, now we're down here. I've still got a little work to do. Cleaning this up and getting it squared. But while it's like this, before I start sanding, I'm gonna go uh, put it in the blasting machine, do a quick bead blast, just in all the areas I might get hot or need to, you know, just get most of the grime off. Cause this aluminum is already uh, not easy to weld, so. Bead blast this real quick, and we'll come back and uh, start welding. So mainly what I'm doing here is uh, just giving the cast metal a free heat. The cast is so porous, there's uh, usually a bunch of oil trapped in it, and especially on something this old. So I always want to preheat everything. Somewhere around, I don't know, 250, 300 degrees, and I'll sit there and check it. But, Gives you a better idea. A lot of the times on the case repairs, they heat them up like this, they'll just see oil start seeping out of uh, different holes and pores. And, you know. Yeah, we'll get this nice and toasty and we'll take it over to the other bench and we'll start tackling it. So we're all welded up now. You can see we got a full seam all the way through the whole bevel. It's actually welded decent for uh, one of these old heads. But so here's the point now where you can either A, sit there with a the Dremel, sand it all down really nice. I'm not gonna bother grinding it down. What I'm gonna do real quick is just re-bead blast it just so everything matches. We'll leave the weld there. I'd rather leave it anyways for a little extra support. But yeah, that's uh, replacing a pan head exhaust picket.